You guys may have seen and heard that AI is added to Photoshop. Now you can edit your photos automatically. You can add elements just by writing few words or just by giving them instructions. The question is, can we use it in all versions of Photoshop or is it a specific version? In this video, we will learn all about that, how to get it, where to get it from and how to use it. This is me Farid Fana, your friend and guide in this channel. Now let's solve the first puzzle. First of all, you cannot use this new version of AI in your Photoshop in all versions or whichever version you're using it. It's not going to work like that. You need to have the beta version of Photoshop. For doing so, you need to install Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop in your PC. Go to your Google Chrome, write Adobe Creative Cloud for Desktop. Click on it. Click on the first or second link. I'm going to share its link in the description for you people. Then install it. Installation of Creative Cloud is really easy. After installing the Creative Cloud Desktop app in your computer, this is something it will look like. For Desktop, Mobile and Web, here is Apps, Files, Discover, Stock In, Marketplace There are a bunch of other options too. The applications which I've installed, all of them will be appeared here. Update available, right now I haven't updated, I need to update this version. This one is updated, I am using two versions. Mm, 20. So this is something you need to know about Creative Cloud. All your softwares will be appeared here, the software switch are installed. If it needed updates, you can update it from here. But, you need to have subscription. If you are not subscribed to Adopt Creative Cloud, here they will just show you try or take a subscription or update and install or open won't be available here and don't forget to subscribe to this one too after getting subscriptions you can have or you can go to your apps all apps this is all apps but you need to find out the beta apps here is the beta app option these are the beta version of illustrator premiere premiere rush after effect bridge and character animator and bunch of others i have installed photoshop beta if I click on open, it will be automatically opened. I don't need to install it again. If you want to install any other software or if you haven't installed your Photoshop, then it will be appeared for desktop apps. Click on install, then it will be installed easily. No rocket science, click and install. This is how it will look like. It's not that different from other versions of your Photoshop. Let's create new file. Create. This is called generative film you can import image or you can just take a rectangle marquee tool or any other selection tools you whichever you prefer do your selections click on generative fill then you can describe whatever you want like for example i'm gonna write empty room with two windows one open door at night let's see how it works click on generate <laughs> so this is what i wrote um, empty room with two windows and one door at night so maybe according to photoshop it is at night and it also gives you variations for example it has given me three variations this is the first one let's click on the second so this is the second one and this is the third one you can add bunch of other things too let me select this area and write dining table with as Vice and red flowers in the vase. Generate. Let's see, is it going to give it correct or not? So there is no table, but there are vases with red flowers. Let's see the next variation. Yeah, here it is. 
but here we have the dining table but no pass with red flowers the third one so here is the dining table there are chairs i don't know is it correct or not i think this is the pass with red flowers i'll stick with this one let me select this area and write lights my my does it look good i don't think so let's see this next one not bad the third one so these are the studio lights i don't want studio lights i will stick with the second one and what else should we do i'll just select this area and write workstation one thing you need to know about uh, generator fill you need to be more specific right now i'm not giving it specific information i'm just writing keywords according to those keywords it is filling it automatically but if i give it more details then it will be better than the designs they are giving me right now right now i just wrote workstation they have given me the workstation second variation this is the second one the third and this is the third one i'll stick with the third one what else should we do let me do one thing more let's change my selection to Right now you guys can see the problem first i did this one then i added my no i added my table first then i added my workstation now when i'm changing my tiles then these areas will create some problems so be more specific and be more oriented which part are you gonna change first and which part are you gonna change second so these are the problems still generative fill has maybe it will be solved too Let's take another file and be more like an open space. For example, let's select this area, cloudy sky with sun reflections. Okay, let's change it. And this one is okay. Let's select all the areas, just white ocean. So this is how you can install your beta version of Photoshop. You can have your generator fill and you can be more creative than that. And we're going to recall other videos that what else can we do with our generator fill. Till that.